Hi everyone, welcome to Honest Bee by G. I'm G, where we review everything eco-friendly and cruelty-free. excited to jump right into this next video. This is technically my very first product review video, so I'm really excited. And I wanted to make sure I was reviewing a product that was really applicable to everybody. Um, so I thought long and hard about what could that product possibly be, and I decided to do sunscreen. Even though this isn't the typical beauty review or anything, I do think that it's really important to look into your sunscreens to find out what is non-toxic, cruelty-free, and also we're going to discuss what is reef safe? What a lot of people don't realize is that one of the number one ingredients for anti-aging is actually your sunscreen and making sure that you're wearing it every single solitary day. Your skin is the largest organ on your body and so we want to make sure that it's protected and it's also the one that's facing the most damage from the skin and more so than sunburns or any kind of skin irritation is the fact that you're gonna get wrinkles. <laughs> but we can try to slow that down and try to prevent it by using the best of the best sunscreens. And lucky for you, I'm here with all of my top suggestions. Before we jump right into what are the best sunscreens, I need you guys to pull out a pad of paper and a pen, okay, not a pen, probably a pencil because you're gonna be erasing and then rewriting because there's, it, it's a lot, okay, it's a lot. We're, we're gonna go over it and I have some guides to make it 10 times easier, but what we really need to discuss is what's in a sunscreen that makes it effective, what are we trying to get our sunscreen to do? And what is the difference between a chemical and a physical sunscreen? Right here is my handy dandy little chart that is a good visual representation of the difference between a chemical and a physical sunscreen. And as you can see, a chemical sunscreen is going to use organic materials that's going to absorb those UV rays and then it's going to convert them into heat and light waves. And then with a physical sunscreen, what it's doing is it is completely blocking and preventing that sunlight from reaching your skin at all. How are you gonna find these ingredients? Look on the back label of your sunscreen and it's going to say active ingredients near the top. And usually right there is where you're gonna see any of those keywords. And then later on, it's gonna have all your other ingredients that don't worry about those right now. We'll get to that later. So you're probably thinking, gee, which do I use? A chemical or a physical sunscreen? And honestly, we definitely prefer physical sunscreens because they're usually made of mineral materials that aren't as harmful to the reefs or marine life. Here, I'm going to list some of my naughty list ingredients that have scientifically proven to have really negative effects on marine life and reefs, such as bleaching. Um, I can't pronounce these, so I'm just gonna list them instead. I am also gonna include this little guide right here that you can download either from my blog on honestbeebyg.com or on my Pinterest at honestbeebyg. Um, so that you have a handy dandy little guide that kind of gives you a nice visual of what ingredients are bad and what ingredients are good. Now you're also probably realizing at the top of the naughty list is zinc oxide and titanium oxide, which are two ingredients that I just said were in physical sunscreens and were good. So this is where we're going to get a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try to explain it as best as possible. All Honest Bee by G approved sunscreens that are physical sunscreens only use non-nano zinc oxide and non-nano titanium dioxide. What's the difference? Okay, so what some sunscreens are doing is they are taking the zinc oxide particles and squishing them even smaller. So we want them to be unaltered in any way. So you always wanna look on the bottle or on the ingredients list that it says non-nano, non-nano, nano bad, non-nano, Okay, so now we're gonna get to the moment you've been waiting for. So this is a lot of no's, so it can't be fragrance-free. It has to be cruelty-free. It has to be reef safe. It has to be physical sunscreen. And it can't use nanoparticles. Does it exist? Yes, it does. And I'm going to give you over 10 options that are honest by G approved. I'm gonna go over this list really quickly with you guys and I'm gonna show you some of the sunscreens that I personally own and that I absolutely love and why. And then um, the others I might not personally own or have not had the pleasure of trying yet, but I have thoroughly researched them. And if I wasn't sure on anything, I did contact the companies. Um, and on my blog post, you can see some of their answers that they gave me. So we are gonna start with the Beauty by Earth sunscreen. This is a company that I really, really love. I think they've got beautiful ingredients and they're all made in the USA 
way. And I think that they are a very eco-conscious line. In my guide, I only list the stick version of this because their regular one contains a, I think it has a grapefruit oil. Uh, I'm personally allergic to it because it is part of the citrus family. And if you suffer from any kind of skin conditions or irritation, sensitivity, or eczema, um, then citrus is known to be a skin irritant. So I personally like to stay away from them. So that particular sunscreen is not Honestly by G approved. Next, I'm really excited to share with you this little independent company that was family created and owned um, called Little Urchin, and they have really beautiful products. The one downside to this is it does ship from Australia. I don't believe they're on Amazon yet, so look out for that maybe in the future. However, the good thing about Little Urchin is that they have one of the longest wear times at around three hours, um, compared to most that are maybe around 80 minutes before you need to reapply. The next brand I'm gonna cover is Acure. So in my guide, I have the pink version of this, which is their Seriously Soothing line, um, which I definitely recommend that one for anyone that has sensitive skin. Then I have personally purchased their Radically Rejuvenating SPF Day Cream uh, that I think is really nice. And what makes this really great is it's full of turmeric, ferulic acid, and vitamin C. And vitamin C and ferulic acid are a really, really great combo and they really help kind of boost each other. I think these are really lovely skincare ingredients, but if you have incredibly sensitive skin, I might stay away from it. Um, I got this personally for my boyfriend um, and he loves it and he wears it every day. And he kind of gets to skip using a vitamin C and a moisturizer and all that, just slap some of this on, good to go. The next sunscreen I'm gonna talk about is one of my favorite skincare lines and that is the Biosense. Um, Biosense has really lovely skincare ingredients, again, in their SPF. The only thing is it's definitely a little bit more pricey than some of your other options, but if you're one of those people that really values skincare and uh, you only plan on using this maybe on your face and then use a different option on the rest of your body, then it might be worth it to you. Um, the bottle's also a little bit smaller than some of the other bottles and choices, and the SPF is only a 30. Personally, I prefer a stronger SPF, but if you're someone that isn't as light sensitive, this might be absolutely perfect for you. And if you use a lot of their skincare line, it's going to blend beautifully and you can put your makeup over it and it's gonna last for a really long time. The next sunscreen, I am so sad. I ordered it and it's just not here on time for me to physically have it. This is a company that I stand by 100% and that is the Coco Kind SPF. Its ingredients are really innovative. They've been working for years trying to get the right formula. And what I love about Coco Kind is they do not release anything unless they feel it is 100% perfect, on brand, ready to go, ready to use, and super effective. Um, it's got really, really beautiful, simple ingredients, and they are now officially at Ulta, and they're also available in some Whole Foods. Otherwise, you can go on their website and buy directly. All right, now we're going to shift into some of the stronger SPFs. It's really important for those with really, really sensitive skin to have the greatest amount of SPF possible. If you don't have the sensitivity, you should be fine with an SPF 30. Our first one is going to be Mineral Fusion. I actually use this right now on a daily basis and I'm almost out, like this whole tube is empty. Um, I use it all over my neck, all over my chest, all over my arms. And I think this is just a really beautiful formula. It's um, got shea butter in it, which is a nice thick oil. If you have um, dry skin, this is really great. If you've got super oily skin, um, this might be a little bit too thick of an oil and make you feel a little bit greasy. I wear under all of my makeup. Um, well, I guess it's really only on my neck, but I've, I've worn it under my makeup before and it's fine, I think. Yeah, it was fine. Next, I'm really excited about this product. This is kind of a wild card um, and isn't gonna be for everyone, but this is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint in SPF 40, which includes niacinamide, squalane, and hyaluronic acid, which are all really, really, really great hydrators and skin protectors and soft, gentle oils that's good for every kind of skin type. I'm gonna show you really quickly on my hand what it kind of looks like and blends out to. This color is just a little bit light for me and I usually kind of mix it with a slightly darker color or I need to use a bit of a bronzer. Actually, maybe I'm just extra pale right now. That works just fine. Am I getting paler? I mean, if you're someone that says, I want as few steps as possible, I just wanna have an all-in-one on-the-go product, this is perfect. The next one that I think is really great, and now we're jumping into the SPF 50 range, is this Babo Botanicals. Um, they also have other versions in SPF 30, SPF 40. I personally wanted to make sure that I got that 50 because I have that sensitive skin. And just like Beauty by Earth, Babo Botanicals has even more options 
um, available on their website and in drugstores where they have uh, like a chapstick, they have the spray-ons, they have the stick versions. This says baby skin on it. Ignore that. If it's good enough for a baby, it's good enough for an adult. Okay, that's just good for really extra sensitive skin. It doesn't have any kind of harsh chemicals in it. Fragrance free. Put it on baby, put it on you, put it on your kids, your grandma, I don't care. And then last but not least, Hey guys, um, you're going to notice a pretty big difference in audio in a second here. My dog had a little incident that I had to take care of her for a few hours and then resume. This was maybe like four or five hours later. I hit something that I call the lupus drop and it's definitely really evident in my voice and in my personality and energy level here. But I like to keep these things to be real with you guys so that you can see the difference in personality after just a few hours. Anyways, getting back to sunscreen. It is my holy grail of sunscreens and that's my Crave Beauty Beat Shield. And on the label in the United States, this is considered an antioxidant day fluid, um, not a sunscreen because our current FDA administration does not consider these types of ingredients to be classified as a sunscreen. And I really love this formula. It's perfect under all of my makeup. It doesn't slide, it doesn't move, it's not greasy. Um, it's really fantastic. I can't rave enough about this. I know it's all over the internet of everyone raving about it, so just add me to the list. The Beat Shield is a little bit more expensive than some of your other options. So personally, what I like to do is to just use it all over my face and a little bit on my neck, and then I go in with one of these bad boys all over the rest of my neck, my chest, my shoulders, arms, stuff like that. So if any of you are in the skincare and beauty community, you might be wondering where are the brands like Supergoop and Kula? And these are really, really trendy brands that are cruelty-free and clean at Sephora. And my reason is that they're not honest B by G approved. Hello, there's a Reef Safe sticker right on the bottle. So why is it on your list? Reef Safe is not a regulated term. Anyone can put the term Reef Safe on their bottle, no matter what the ingredients are, even if they're completely toxic ingredients they can claim to be reef safe. So for an example, I'm going to put up all the ingredients on some of the most popular Kula and Supergoop formulas so that you can have a look yourself. As a friendly reminder, if you already have purchased a sunscreen recently or still have not used up one that's on the naughty list, don't worry about it. Don't feel guilty. You're better off using it and still protecting your skin because at least that's the number one point and hopefully the number one takeaway that you're getting from this video is that your skin needs to be protected. And so use it up, enjoy it, think it's for its time, toss it or recycle it responsibly uh, if it's recyclable packaging and um, always refer back to this list for which one you think might suit you the best. And that's why it's here. Um, we never want you to feel bad about having a product that isn't cruelty free or reef safe. This is just for educational purposes. And this is just the research that I've conducted in my personal opinion. I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a scientist. Um, and these are just ones that I personally think that are the best of the best. Anyways, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified every single time that I have a new video and hit the like button so that I know that you enjoyed this video. And if uh, you found this information really helpful, make sure to please, please, please share with all of your friends um, and make sure that they are staying nice and healthy and safe from any UV rays during this summertime as well. Bye guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. See you later.